Hi everyone, Gosha Scarlett here. I'm a confidence coach for coaches, helping them feel confident in their skin as coach, expert and business owner. Today I'd like to share with you seven tips, seven steps to help you put yourself out there with confidence as a coach. First thing, everything starts from vision. So connect to your vision, to your purpose. This is incredibly important in your ability to manage any sort of fears related to putting yourself out there. So connect yourself to your sense of worthiness in relation to your dream. Develop strong, solid belief in your vision and clarity on your purpose, because this will be your North Star. Grant yourself in this decision. Know why you will succeed and know why you have made this decision. Because once you are solid in this, it will be so much easier to show up, to be visible, to do whatever it takes. And it will be a wobbly and tough road to actually make it happen. Thing number two, identify your zone of genius. I call it your who, your what, and your how. So who are you helping? What are you helping with? And how are you specifically doing it? Without this element, there is no marketing and actually there is no business. And this is because if you have clarity on who you are serving and what specific problem you help solve and what sort of benefits you help your clients to create, then you know who you are speaking to. And because you have clarity on that, this instantly gives you confidence to communicate that. So next step is communicate this effectively. So when you understand and know your specific process, process that you are taking your clients through, not only you come as more credible in their eyes because you know your process, but you increase your confidence even further. You seeing yourself in your eyes as a professional coach and business owner. Next, overcome your visibility fears. And there will be many fears, fear of rejection, fear of judgment, what people say, fear of embarrassment, what if no one listens, what, what if people ignore me, ignore me, fear of shame. So many fears, especially to those, when it comes to showing up in your business where you did not do it before. So you love coaching. Uh, often coaches think that coaching is all they need to create success in business. But this is a mistaken belief because in order for it to work, you need to step into the shoes of business owner. And the role of that business owner in you is to make your work as coach visible. And to make this possible, you got to work on your fears. Yes. Next thing is develop success mindset and confidence. This is extremely important because when it comes to visibility in a, in a situation like, like marketing, promoting, of course, your business, but actually selling to your clients. Yes, selling, dirty words. So many coaches afraid to use that. Of course, I mean, serving, but really offering, putting yourself out there in front of clients and being more fierce, more direct, dropping that energy of attachment and proving that is all about success mindset. So develop the way of thinking um, about what sales is, what's not, what marketing is, what actually self-promotion even is. Because trust me, it's not about those things um, that you think hold you back, it's about what you specifically think about that. So assess your beliefs about sales, about clients, about marketing, and see which ones really help you in your business and which ones completely sabotage your progress. Next, number six, create a simple visibility, simple business strategy. You know, I started my business a few years ago and over years through trial and error, I definitely learned that it's all about simplicity. You don't need another complicated marketing strategy or whatever funnel. 
What you need is a simple plan for how to lead free session, how to sell and how to really lead client from point A to point B so that they meet you, they have opportunity to work with you. For that, you need simple process. Without the process, you stay stuck and you are not moving. And number seven, very important about courage, take action before you are ready. Hope that helps. If you have any ideas, any of your tips, please let me know, please share it. And if you like this video, feel free to share with other fellow coaches who may need to hear it today. Bye for now.